and I'm call, going to call this uh, age, let's say age underscore between, let's say between 30 and, let's say, and 50 years. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to hit change, and now you can actually see that what's going to happen is age is going to get recorded to, uh, it's going to get recoded as age between 30 and 50 years. Actually, usually what we would say is, actually I'll give it a more, a better name, I'll actually call this age dumb, age dumb, dumb one, okay, to indicate it's my first dummy variable for my age category, okay, and now I'm going to do the old to new values, okay, so in respect to this, this is in conceptually, don't forget from our PowerPoint, conceptually the first dummy variable, one if you're under 30 years of age, and zero if you're not under 30 years of age. So there are my recodings. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say old to new, okay? So, on the under 30 years of age guys are currently zero, okay? In Within, within the coding system, yeah, okay? So I'm going to send them to one, and I'm going to add that. Okay? Any other value okay, is going to go to zero. So if you're a one, which means you're between 30 and 50, you're going to get recoded as a zero. Okay? I'm going to add that. Uh, if you're two, meaning you're above 50, you're also going to get recoded as a zero. Add that to mean that you're not, you're not under 30 years of age. Okay? And I'm going to hit continue, and I'm going to hit OK. And what we've created here, if we go back into our SPSS, uh, data view window okay what we've created here is this new dummy variable okay and now let me give the values okay so the values are going to be zero is not is not under 30 years okay Wait, let's say years okay add that and one indicates that you are under 30 30 years okay let's put that in there so that's that dummy variable now called it up Okay, and it is a nominal variable. Okay, okay. Uh, there is. We'll just we'll just leave it there as a nominal variable at this particular stage. Yeah. So let's do the second coding, the second dummy variable. Okay, the second dummy variable is going to have two categories: zero and one. Uh, one indicating you're between thirty and fifty. Don't forget, there the people that on the original variable are coded as one, and zero indicating that you're between you're not between thirty and fifty. There the people that are coded on the original variable as zeros and twos. So to do that dummy variable, we'll go into for oh sorry let me just click on this here we went to transform recode into different variables and this time let me just click on this here i'm going to call this age dummy two. Oh, let's say age dumb 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 two and i'll change that and i'm going to go in and change the values that are associated with this so you can see age is going to be mapped into a new variable with the name age dumb two so now i'm going to specify all the new values i just want to get rid of all of these from my last uh, operations, okay, uh, and now I'm going to say, okay, so this variable represents the conceptual idea that you're between 30 and 50 years of age, okay, uh, so what I'm going to do here is, uh, that would be on the original variable coded as 1, so I'm going to leave them as coded as 1, okay, and I'm going to hit add, anybody that's coded as 0 is going to go to 0, okay, in other words, the under 30 years of age are going to be on this variable, not between 40 and 50 years okay and also anybody coded as 2 which is the current 50 plus years of age on this new variable are going to be coded as 0 because they're not between uh, 30 and 50 years of age and I just hit continue on that and I hit OK and then what we've actually created here is we've created two new dummy variables I need to give this new variable some some values okay uh, so we have 0 is not between 30 and 50 years okay add that and one indicates that you are between between 30 and 50 50 years okay and I add that and I hit okay and now what I've got is I've got two new dummy variables so let's actually go over here and let's see what's been created okay so now you can actually see that age dumb one has been created and age dumb two as variables have been created let's just flick between numeric and I suppose label mode here you can actually see now that actually let me go in and just change the number of decimals on these down to down to zero okay and down to zero here and now let's go back in so you can actually see on the age dumb one you're coded as either a zero or a one if you're a zero it means you're not under 30 years of age if you're a one it means you are under 30 years of age 
Age dumb two. Uh, well, if you're a zero, it means you're not between 30 and four, uh, 30 and 50 years of age. If you're a one, it means you are between uh, you are between 30 and 50 years of age. And let's see if we find somebody that's a zero, zero on both of these particular values. Okay, so uh, dun, 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 let's see if we find someone that's a zero, zero. Here's a here's a here's a record here that's that's zero, zero, which means that they're not under 30 years of age. And they're not between 30 and 40 years of age, which means in air, in air classification now, based off our dummy variables, means that they must be 50 plus years of age. So let's see what they've been originally coded as. So they were originally coded as, there you go, 50 plus years of age. Okay. So you can see the way the dummy variable thing is after working for us. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's after allowing us with two dummy variables to capture all three levels of measurement associated with the original uh, ordinal age variable. Okay, guys, uh, I hope this video uh, was, once again, this is Jonathan Lambert of the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope this video, uh, which was dealing with how to generate dummy variables, which is really important because it's one of the preconditions associated with regression analysis, uh, that our variables are either continuous or dichotomous. Okay? So this video dealing with how to create dummy variables, I hope it was in some way intuitive uh, and, and helpful for you. So once again, thanks for watching.